Dolphins today is presented by Manscaped. If you go to manscaped.com and use promo code Dolphins, you're going to get 20% off plus free shipping on their new Beard Hedger. We'll tell you more about that later on in today's show. I am Will Scott. Welcome in to Dolphins today. Round one of the NFL draft is in the books. Because the Dolphins did not have a first-round pick, I am now getting you guys my final Dolphins mock draft. We'll get into that in a second. Also break down some draft targets for Miami in round two. They have the 51st overall selection. We will be live for that pick tonight, so be sure to subscribe. It's going to be a lot of fun here on the channel. It's the first time we've ever gone live during the draft here on Dolphins today, so you do not want to miss it. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button below, and turn on your notifications, because we're going to go live, and then we're going to get you guys a video breaking down the 51st overall pick and the 84th overall pick. Right now, at least, those are the two picks the Dolphins have tomorrow night. They also have a six-round pick and a seventh-round pick. Four draft picks total, the fewest amount of picks amongst any team in the league. I would not mind at all if Chris Greer traded back once or twice, added some draft picks. Now let's get in to my final Dolphins mock draft. Done a lot of these the last couple of weeks. This is the last one before the Dolphins are on the clock tonight. And may I remind you, throw back to last year when I did my final Dolphins mock draft. Guess who I had mocked to the Dolphins? Channing Tindall. And guess who the Dolphins picked? Channing Tindall. So I got this right last year. Pressure's on. Try to make it two straight years. Me correctly guessing, predicting at least, the first Dolphins player uh, to get drafted. The first Dolphins draft pick. Take a look at some second round targets here. A couple notable names that I thought were going to get picked in round one did not. So the Darnell Washington dream is still alive. I thought that Georgia tight end was going to be a first-round pick. He's still on the board. Michael Mayer, that's shocking. I thought he was going to be a top 15, top 20 pick. So all of a sudden, he's a draft target here for the Dolphins. You got Drew Sanders, Steve Avila. Shout out Chad Jones. I know you're a big Steve Avila guy. John Michael Smith, you could draft him, have him play center maybe, move Connor to guard. Sam Laporta is certainly a name that's been linked to the Dolphins a lot. Cody Mock, Matthew Bergeron, Luke Musgrave, and... Devon A-Chain are some of my second round targets. I use the PFF mock draft simulator. Unfortunately, Washington was off the board, but Sam Laporta was on the board. And I took the Iowa tight end with the Dolphins' first pick in the second round, number 51 overall. I do believe Sam Laporta is going to be the pick for the Dolphins tonight. Again, correctly predicted 10 to last year. I'm going with Laporta this year, who had over 1,300 yards the last two seasons at Iowa. Four touchdowns, 11.7 yards per catch, over 110 receptions. Uh, this guy is the total package, and I think it would replace Mike Kosicki and do it very well. Here's what Dan Dane Brugler of The Athletic said about Laporta. He's an average point of attack blocker, and his lack of length hurts his success rate in contested situations. But he plays with outstanding quickness and body rhythm with soft hands as a pass catcher. He is in the Austin Hooper mold and projects as a low tight end one or high tight end two on an NFL depth chart. When you're looking at the Dolphins' targets, right, and you're looking at some names that might fall to Miami 51, I still don't think Darnell Washington is going to be a name there. Now, it's more possible than it was yesterday. I know yesterday I said it was merely a dream that Darnell Washington's going to be on the board. I was expecting three tight ends to go round one. The only one that did was Dalton Kincaid to Buffalo. Michael Mayer did not go. Darnell Washington did not go first round. You have Luke Musgrave available as well. So the Dolphins are, are going to have some good options potentially, but I unfortunately do not expect a Michael Mayer Washington to fall to the Dolphins at 51. I think Luke Musgrave will, but I think the Dolphins are going to take Sam Laporta over Musgrave. do believe they're going tight end here at number 51. Tight end, arguably the biggest need on this team. Do you want to draft Sam Laporta? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comment section. Go down let me know. I think we'd all be happy with the pick. I really do. Would it be awesome if Washington is somehow the pick? Yes. I still don't know how realistic that is. He'd have to fall another 20 spots roughly in this draft. 
Uh, we'll see. Uh, but if Sam Lepore is on the board, I expect him to be the pick for Miami. Now let's go to the third round. The Dolphins selection at number 84 overall. But wait, wait. I'm getting a call. It is from Duval. The Jacksonville Jaguars would like to make a trade. I've accepted the trade. I've traded back four spots to number 88, and I have added a fourth round pick in the process. The Dolphins at the moment do not have a fourth round pick. I've traded back just four spots. That's nothing. And I've added a fourth round pick. So I really like this deal uh, because, again, you're only trading back four spots and you're adding a fourth round pick. The Jags accepted this trade. Here we go. Number 88 overall. Again, I moved back four spots. Wait, I'm getting another call. I'm getting another call. Hello, Cleveland. Matthew Peterson, how you doing? Host of Cleveland Browns uh, Report. Okay, you'd like to trade up? All right, this is what I want. This is a good deal. This is a great deal. I'm moving back another 10 spots. Add another fourth round pick and a fifth round pick next year. I've gone rogue. I've turned into Sonny Weaver Jr. from the draft day movie. I've added all these picks. I've added all these picks and still have a third round pick. I would love this for the Dolphins if they traded back, added some picks. So right now I've gone from four picks to six picks and I added a pick next year as well. With my lone third round selection, I addressed the offensive line taking Chandler Zavala, the guard from NC State. And man, if he's somehow on the board here late in the third round, it would be an absolute steal for Miami. I'll tell you more about Zavala here in a second, but first I want to tell you about the Beard Hedger from our friends over at Manscaped. You get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com using promo code DOLPHINS. They just launched New Beard Products. Get the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It's going to come with the Beard Comb, Beard Brush, the Beard Hedger, Beard Shampoo, Beard Oil, everything you need to keep your beard looking fresh. My beard has looked so much better. People around the office are like, man, Will, like your beard looks a lot better. It's a lot more tight, a lot more uh, professional for here on air. And I couldn't agree more uh, because the Beard Hedger has a lot of different links. Choose from 20 links. If you have a thick beard, maybe go with a 9 or 10. I keep my beard nice and tight. I go with about a 2.5 or a 2. It is outstanding. And it's really going to tailor anybody, any beard out there. Manscaped.com, code Dolphins, 20% off plus free, free shipping. If you're a guy... Manscaped is a spot for you. Not only do they have the Beard Hedger, they also have the Lawnmower 4.0. Go and check out all their products. Manscaped.com, code Dolphins. That link, that promo code in the comments in the description of today's video. Going back to Chandler Zavala here, who again, I took in the third round after I traded back twice. Trade back from 84 to 98. Add a couple picks in the process, and I still address a huge need on this football team, which is left guard. He was a three-year starter at left guard for NC State. A lot of experience. Dan Bru Dan Dane Brugler said this about him. Zavala's medical history might be a hurdle, and he will need further development time, but he has NFL size, play strength, and movement skills to grow into a starting role. He has the mauling attitude and alertness that will help him adapt quickly. Yeah, he missed some time, but I think he's going to be a starting left guard day one uh, if you were to add him to this offensive line. Running back is also a need for the Dolphins. And yeah, they could add Dalvin Cook, but Deuce Vaughn here with the fourth round selection that I added trading back was too good to pass up. I am a huge fan of Deuce Vaughn. Yeah, he's undersized maybe. I don't care. Just look at the numbers. Over 1,500 rushing yards this past season for Kansas State was the heart and soul of a team that was a Cinderella this year in college football. Won the Big 12. Huge season for the Wildcats. He had 12 total touchdowns. Love Deuce Vaughn. The Dolphins did re-sign all four of their running backs, but the Dolphins also had the 27th ranked uh, rushing offense from this past season. So I expect the Dolphins here to add a running back. It could happen today, maybe second or third round. Or it could be Dalvin Cook in the next few days. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I do expect the Dolphins to address this position, and it could be adding Deuce Vaughn later tonight. Will the Dolphins draft a running back? Type 1 for yes or type 2 for no down in the comments section. I think, they're gonna, I think they are going to draft a running back. We'll see. Uh, I love Dalvin Cook. Uh, if they draft a running back, I'm assuming that means that Dalvin Cook's probably not going to get traded here. Uh, but we're going to learn a lot about the Dolphins' running back plans tonight one way or another. 
They also need defensive line help, and I addressed that here five picks later, number 126 overall. Again, I added some picks trading back. Kobe Turner, the defensive tackle from Wake Forest. My goodness, the value here would be phenomenal. Love Kobe Turner. Ten tackles for loss this past season for the Demon Deeks. Two sacks. A 92.2 PFF grade. I mean, that's just absolutely wild. Uh, one of the highest graded uh, defensive linemen in college football this past season. The Dolphins right now don't have a lot of depth on the defensive line. There's nobody behind Raekwon Davis on the inside. So you draft Kobe Turner. Have him be a backup to Davis, and you, the guys you're looking at on your screen, Raekwon, Sealer, and Wilkins, they're all free agents after next year. Hopefully they extend uh, some of those guys, but uh, Kobe Turner, man, would, would be a really good addition. And get this, at the Combine, he had a faster three-cone drill time than a guy named Aaron Donald. Don Aaron Donald. Have you heard of uh, Aaron Donald? Yeah. Uh, Kobe Turner is the real deal and would be an absolute steal in the fourth round. Now let's go to the sixth round where I have drafted Jason Taylor II. Now, I know what you're thinking. He's not related to our Jason Taylor, but he's still a very good player. Had a productive career at Oklahoma State. Would be a good pick here in the sixth round. The Dolphins could still look to add some depth to this secondary. Uh, they have Deshaun Elliott. They have Clayton Fajellum, uh, Verone McKinley. Uh, we'll see what they do here at safety, but... Six-round pick, you know, you're just giving him a shot to make the team. And uh, I do like Taylor the second from Oklahoma State. I also really like this guy, Jake Witt, one of the biggest mysteries of this entire draft. So let me break this down. Jake Witt went and played college basketball at Michigan Tech, right? He quit basketball. He goes to Northern Michigan just to be a student. And then he kind of gets on the football team, is playing tight end. Uh, they're in the Division II championship game. I'm, I'm reading this now. One thing led to another. Found himself at tight end for Northern Michigan, right? Then 2021, injuries impacted the Wildcats. And at halftime of the Division II national championship game, which shifted offensive tackle where he did not allow one pressure and he became the best offensive lineman on the team and one of the best offensive linemen in the entire, uh, in a, the entire Division II uh, football world. Uh, so Jake Whitman... He's good, and uh, not a lot we know about him, uh, but he's certainly fascinating when you read about him. He also had this. Jake Witt is an offensive tackle prospect. In the 2023 draft class, he scored a 9.80 RAS out of a possible 10. This ranked 27th out of over 1,200 offensive tackles from 1987 to 2023. Take a look at his RAS score. This would be a crazy pick in the seventh round. I mean, I would love this pick. Absolutely love this pick. Taking a look at the Dolphins' offensive line depth chart, I mean, there's not a whole lot of depth uh, in offensive tackle right now. So you draft Jake Quinn in the seventh round, he's certainly a project, certainly a mystery, but he might have a good chance to make this football team. Now let's take a look at my mock draft results here. Uh, you got Sam Laporta, the tight end out of Iowa. Went with him in the second round, number 51 overall. Really like Laporta. I think uh, he's going to be the pick for the Dolphins if Darnell Washington's off the board. Chandler Zavala, the guard out of NC State. Deuce Vaughn, running back from Kansas State. Kobe Turner, the defensive tackle from Wake. Jason Taylor, the second, the safety from Oklahoma State. Jake Witt, the offense tackle from Northern Michigan. So uh, the Dolphins go into tonight with four picks. I come out of this draft with six picks. I do not think trading down is a bad idea in the slightest. Grade my mock draft. I'm going to be honest, that's probably the best mock draft I've ever done here on Dolphins Day. Type A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know is the pinned comment. So go and reply to it before you exit out of today's video. Going to be a lot of fun tonight. Be sure to tune in to our live coverage. You don't want to miss it. It might get wild if, uh, if Darnell Washington falls to the Dolphins.